How's it going, Vinyl Community? It has been a while. Again. I am bad at making videos. And that's because I just... I just don't do it as much as I should, and I'd like to. So, I'm going to. Uh, today's video is going to be a what have I been spinning video, because I've never made one before, and I really like watching videos of people doing that and seeing what they're into and what they're currently digging. Uh, since the last time you saw me, I have grown a beard, so that's where I'm at in my life right now. Um, currently spinning, Damon Pala, Inner Speaker, great album. Came out a few years ago, current modern psychedelic rock. Uh, this guy named Kevin, they're Australian. Uh, this is apparently news I just read about them. They said their new album is going to be more electronic than rock. So... I kind of, I'm interested. I'm not going to say like, oh man, it's going to totally suck because I like these two albums. They sound cool and fun and psychedelic. Like, They do these things really well. And if he's going to try an electronic album, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. That could be totally cool. So, I'm playing this. Love this album. Also, been spinning some of Montreal. This is the Sunlandic Twins. Came out in 2005. Um... I saw them earlier this month again in concert, and I've seen them now probably, I don't know, five or six times, maybe more than that. And each time I see them, they're just as fun as they were the last time. Such a cool band, um, Kevin and company. The band right now is consisted of a whole bunch of new people, and Kevin, the lead singer, Kevin Barnes, uh, compared to the touring unit of like the last 15, 20, 15, 16 years, was basically almost the same amount of people. Minus some drummers in the last couple of years and a couple of basses throughout the last five or six years. But this album's good. This was a transitional period for them after Satanic Panic came out, where it's really electronic, really dancey, really poppy. Um, definitely not as dark as some of their album, other albums are. Uh, a lot happier. There are some slightly I mean, nostalgic moments or thought provoking ideas, but. This is the Sunlandic Twins, 2005, of Montreal. Shared artwork by David and Nina Barnes. Also been spinning the new Weezer album, Everything Will Be Alright in the End. And I gotta hand it to them, they did it on this album. This is, one, this is probably the best album they've put out since the Green album. In my opinion, anyway. Each song is awesome. The last three songs in this album, the Future Scope Trilogy, holy moly dude, totally mind blowing man, they're amazing, it's so good. They rock and they shred and Rivers is this sweeping guitar thing at the end, it's like, whoa man. <laughs> really did not expect to see this one coming, this was out of left field. Standout tracks for me on this one are Ain't Got Nobody, Da Vinci, the Future Scope Trilogy, and uh, I've had it up to here. There's moments of old school Weezer on here. There's a song called Lonely Girl. Sounds like a blue album, green album song. Um, Back to the Shack. It's their, it was the first single off this album. Great song. But if you get a chance, pick this one up. Came out a couple months ago and it is, it sounds, this pressing is fantastic. It sounds really, really good. Real clean, real tight. Um, but even the album cover is cool. Look at that, look at that monster guy. Look at that guy. Cool. Also been playing some Beach Boys. Beach Boys Holland. Hey, Reflection. This came out in 1973, end of 72. Um, and it comes with the original Mount Vernon and Fairway 45, um, which is like a fairy tale that Brian wrote. There's some great stuff on here. Only With You, Steamboat, Leaving This Town, Betrayer, Funky Pretty. I mean, there is some Great, great stuff on here. Um, yeah, can't recommend this album enough. If you're looking for early 70s Beach Boys, this is the peak of their grassroots hippie touring with the Grateful Dead era. So, Holland, the Beach Boys. I found this the other day. This is a great find. This is uh, the Beatles, Live at the Star Club, Germany, Hamburg, 1962. Uh, it's an actual German copy, so I was very stoked to find that. Look at that awesome, sweet gatefold. 
Look at all that. Look at all that German text that I can't read or understand. In fact, Kirby's got like, some good shots there. But there are a lot of songs on here, and I mean, the quality isn't the best, but to hear how raw they were and how fun and energetic and they were having a good time on, so you can just tell they were having a fun time. They were probably also on pills, but they were having a really good time. Um, there's a couple of originals on here, um, Ask Me Why and I Saw Her Standing There are both on here. But there's also some classics that they're known for, you know, Long Tall Sally, uh, Everybody's Trying to Be My Baby, Hippie Hippie Shake, Lend Me Your Comb, Taste of Pony, Best of My Mucho, Mr. Moonlight, Twist and Shout. But there's also stuff that may be more familiar to the Live of the BBC fans. Like, uh, Talking About You, Ain't Nothing Shaking But the Leaves on the Trees, To Know Her Is To Love Her, um, Bebop Alula, Hallelujah, I Love Her So, Beatles, Live at the Star Club in Germany, 1962. Good stuff. Look at this, a piece of Beatles history. The Beatles tried to get this thing pulled, and uh, they tried for a long damn time. Up until the late 90s when George got away with getting this thing pulled and um, it's been out of print since. But it got issued dozens of times throughout 1977 into the early 90s on different formats, tape, CD, records. Um, so it's out there, but I've never come across a copy of this before and I had to pick it up. It was super cheap, so couldn't say no. This was an awesome find. Let me get the receipt out of there. Mama's and the Papa's Deliver. Look at that. That was a sweet find. Not my favorite album by any means, but it's got some great songs on here. Dedicated to the one I love, Creek Alley, the cover of Twist and Shout's good, Look Through My Window. Man, yeah, there's some good, good stuff on here. Um, this is a mono copy, first pressing from 1967. Again, not my favorite album by them. I'd have to go with probably their self-titled or their first album, uh, if you could believe your eyes and ears. Which, actually, while we're talking about that, let me show you something. This is worth the wait, I promise. And there's a story involved. Total story involved. I went to this antique store over the summer, and uh, they had tons of records. All kinds of stuff. And I actually found a uh, psychedelic lollipop by the Blues McGoose. That was insane. And as I'm digging around, I'm on this bottom shelf, and none of the records are marked. And then I pull out this. Now look, look at that. You see it? You see that toilet? This is the original first pressing of If You Can Believe Your Eyes and Ears by the Mamas and the Papas. I'm trying to get the lighting here. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, when this first came out, this cover was banned because it showed a toilet, and Lord knows that is just totally foul. And so subsequent issues after that would post this little like poster board thing over it, um, saying, hey, this album has California Dreamin' on it. Um, they even got to a point where they issued the cover with this black border and just the picture of them. So you, you couldn't even tell they were in a bathtub at that point. Um, so needless to say, I've been looking for a copy of this for years, an original. Sundays reissued it a while ago, and I have that. But to be able to pick this up, it blew my mind to find this. And so I brought it up to the cashier, and I was like, hey man, you know, expecting to pay like 60 or 70 bucks for it, because it was, it's kind of hard to find. I have no idea if they actually go for that much, but for me personally, when I'm out in the wild, it's hard to find. And so the guy says, how about $4? I was like, okay, <laughs> four dollars it is. Uh, as far as vinyl, that's kind of it for what I'm spinning right now. I'm trying to keep it as current as possible, but a couple of CDs will show off, and I'll take off this price tag that's been on here forever because I don't want to show you guys the price tag. I know we all spend money to buy music, but I don't want you to see it. Young Americans by Bowie. He's got that new Greatest Hits album out now which comes out in various formats, whether it's vinyl, two CD, one CD, all the vinyl. Um, great album, you know, somebody up there likes me, fame, young Americans, 
the cover of Across the Universe, win. You just can't go wrong. It's Bowie at his mid-70s, soul best. Can't go wrong. This I was really excited about. The Who hits 50. This is the Best Buy edition box set, which comes with a t-shirt. And here's what the t-shirt looks like. It's just a, a picture of the cover on a black shirt. Uh, but it looks really sharp, looks really cool. Now, I'm not normally excited about Greatest Hits albums, but in this case, for 50 years of one of my favorite bands, I had to pick this up. And it's got some really interesting choices on here. It's got Zoot Suit by The High Numbers, their first single ever. And it's also got some really interesting mixes of songs that have been hard to find or have been coming out on different releases over time that um, have been a little difficult to pick up, but they're collected here. So you got an alternate version of um, Trick of the Light, which I'm guessing is a single version, which I had no idea even was a single. But the drums are different, the vocals are different, it's slightly differently played. Postcard is on here, that's an interesting choice for a greatest hits. Uh, Dogs? Dogs is on here. Yes, Dogs is on here. Call Me Lightning is on here. And my favorite version of Magic Bus, which is I think the UK single version, it's an alternate, longer version of it, which I've been looking for for years. I remember when I was in high school, the local radio station played this version over and over again, and I couldn't find it. For two years, I bought every Greatest Hits album I could find with that song on it, and eventually found it on Meaty Beaty Big and Bouncy, the vinyl version. It's not on the CD version. So, very stoked to finally have that on here. Um, it's got the single version of Won't Get Fooled Again. Not feeling that one too much, but, you know, I guess for space issues, that's what they went with. Anyway, my record has ended, and I've run out of things to show. So, if you like The Who, pick this up. comes with a t-shirt. Final community, I'm going to make more videos. I'm going to try anyway. And um, you have yourselves a good Thanksgiving, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, and peace and love.